Hi, I'm Mark Bona with Cleveland.com. Welcome to another installment of Friday Night Sips. Now, the last couple of weeks we featured beers from two different breweries in Columbus. We're moving our way back up north and we're going to feature a beer from Royal Docks Brewing Company. They're in Canton. Now, Royal Docks opened uh, five years ago, 2015. We're right on top of their 20th anniversary. They've since expanded uh, to another location in Canton and in Massillon, I believe. It's owned by uh, John and Adriana Bikus and, and the brewer Dave Satula. Now, a couple things about Dave Satula. Number one, very experienced brewer. Uh, he w won a Great American Beer Festival Award at Willoughby Brewing Company years ago. He also was the first brewer at the Brew Kettle, which is making some great beers, and we featured them as well. Um, but the other thing is this, he, Dave is a self-proclaimed Anglophile. He loves all things England. The name of this brewery comes from, stems from Royal Docks, the classic docks area in England that dates to the 19th century. Two and a half miles long, three docks, uh, closed to commercial traffic in 1981, but really part of uh, a lot of English uh, lore and history. So this week we are going to be trying a Backyard Crusher. Now this is a lager, and I love trying, as I've said before, I love trying lagers from craft breweries. Uh, lagers are actually a sector that are, are, uh, are pretty tough for the craft brewing industry. It's not a huge sector, but whenever I try a lager, I really like it. This is a very unique one. So right away, you get a strong hint of, of lemon with a little brininess as well in the nose. That lemon tang. Fresh lemon, very tangy, hits you right away, and it's followed with a little bit of lime and the saltiness. It is made with, uh, with sea salt, I believe. Uh, really, really tasty, very different lager, good summer sipper, 5.5% alcohol. The brewery's been great. Satula really knows his stuff. He's really into his craft. He's really into yeast propagation, which is uh, kind of a geeking out thing for brewers to do. It's something I don't write about because I don't think the average person is that interested in it. But Dave knows his stuff, and I, I really, really enjoy trying the beers that, that Royal Docks is, has been producing. Last year they came out with Leatherhead IPA, one of the most beautiful cans I've seen, a reference to uh, pro professional football marking 100 years, uh, the centennial, and of course one of their neighbors is the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Uh, so a, a really nice, tasty one from, uh, from Royal Docks. Backyard Crusher. It's even got a, the old-fashioned lawn chairs that we uh, that many of us grew up with. Uh, so each week on Friday Night Sips, we instead of a sponsor, we like to offer a different charity that you can give to. And because we're talking about a brewery in Canton, we're going to mention Arts and Stark, the nonprofit believes in teaching and supporting uh, education using arts to help kids. So it's a it's a good organization, a nonprofit right down there in uh, our neighbor Stark County. So. We had a really tasty lager this week. I uh, hope you're enjoying Friday Night Sips. Feel free to email me with any suggestions you have for any other beers you'd like to see me uh, talk about, the history of the brewer, uh, the brewery and, and the beers. So for Cleveland.com, this is Mark Bona saying cheers.